welcome to Mojito episode 12, the worst podcast on the internet. Today, I am receiving Kirvizia, I am, hope I'm pronouncing this right, creator of the awesome subreddits Bone Hurting Juice and OK Buddy Retard. Uh, I'm gonna let you give uh, introduce yourself, give your credentials. Uh, I'm pretty sure you did a good job. Everyone gets my name wrong anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, okay. I made okay, buddy retard. I made bone hurting juice. I was a mod on deep fried memes for two years, but then I left because I hated that subreddit, and then I left okay, buddy retard because I couldn't take it because okay. people. Well, I don't know. I don't know about couldn't take it. They were, uh, everyone there was, I mean, I was trying to do things and everyone was just like, shut up, faggot. Just 24 seven. I was like, I'm trying to do things. And it's just like, they don't care. So I was like, whatever. I don't care about this anymore. Uh, besides that, nothing. That's basically okay. it. Okay. Uh, is that your full time, uh, occupation or do you have something on the side? No, I'm still in school right now. Uh huh. I'm like uh, I'm a senior right now, so okay in high school. So okay, most of the time, like when I started doing it, it was just like a thing I did on the side. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really surreal because I started both of those subreddits when I was like in my high school like bathroom, like taking a shit. <laughs> and that's where I decided. That's where I made them, which is like super surreal. So like every time I walk by a bathroom, that's like yep. That's where bone hurting juice was made. I walk up to like the second floor bathroom, like, yep, that's where okay buddy retard was made. You know? Yeah. Really weird. Yeah, I understand. Um so um let's start with uh something light. What is right now your favorite meme? I don't know. I don't I hate that question because for me there's n I hate just the idea of the meme like you know every week it's like the meme of like the whatever instead of just like hey this is funny it's got to be like oh this week it's uh -huh. this meme this meme like I don't yep. I don't like that at all like I just like things that are funny to me I don't I'm not like oh this is the new hot me dank meme funny meme jerry face of the week you know yeah, okay, so uh, what's your favorite meme of all time, then? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man, I don't... Because the word meme is so... It's used by everyone to mean, like, a ton of di things. Are you just talking about, like, yeah. an image that made me laugh a lot, or, like... Both are fine. I don't know. Uh, the image that, I guess, always made me laugh, like... Oh, my goodness, because... Almost all of my subreddits were started just because I had images of like things, yeah, or just like in a specific style that I liked a lot that I thought were cool, mm -hmm. like Bone Hurting Juice. There was uh, the original one, which is like you can see it. It's just like some stupid comic, and it's just like ow my bones. And there were a bunch of other images in that style, which is like what I made. Oh yeah, and and then for Okay But Retard was the same thing except like much stupider. Mm. Uh. So I'd say my favorite of all time, the one that like always sticks out to me, would probably be the. Uh, it's just some image of Mario, and it's like he's smoking weed. Oh, it's like, I WTF, love this one. Why is Mario one. smoking weed? Yeah, yeah, that's such a memorable one. Oh yeah, I love this one. I remember it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why is Mario Mario smoking <laughs> weed with a lot of uh, exclamation points? It's yeah. oh, it's a great one. Yeah, um, I actually made a video based off that meme just because I liked it so much. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, um, and what's your your favorite meme format? Like images, I guess. In terms of meme formats, I'm not really particular. Where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, a video is always better than an image. But generally, I'd say like most video format, I guess memes are generally better because you can't just like bullshit something out in like ten minutes. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. you don't just go to like meme generator and then find a funny image of like. Pepe the Frog and just type like when liberals like eat my shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gay and I piss and shit all over the place. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I wish uh, per personally, that's my per personal taste. Mm -hmm. I wish that there were uh, more 
uh, text-based memes. When I when I started getting into memes a long time ago, uh, there were a lot of text memes, like um, you know um, the one, um, "Hey faggots, my name is John, and I hate every single one of you." You know that one? It's uh, absolutely classic. Vaguely. Could be based on, I remember and, uh, that's like how I first started getting into Reddit. Was uh, me and my friends we'd go in like r slash emoji pasta and just like. We um, loved all the shitty fucking copy yeah. pastas there. I tell like how I first started getting into Reddit, like Jesus, like five years ago. I guess the most famous one nowadays would be the Navy SEALs uh, Gorilla Warfare uh, 300 classic. confirmed kills, absolute classic. Yeah, and also uh, you gotta have a high IQ to understand Rick and Morty uh, because uh, you know, I, yeah. I these memes are. Amongst my favorites, uh, I love text uh, memes and uh, copy pastes, and uh, yeah, they're uh, they've kind of disappeared lately because, well, nowadays memes are mostly shared uh, and passed around on social media, and yeah. um, you know it's not um, Facebook does not favor text when you post an image for, on Facebook. It gets it gets much more rich than uh, when you post uh, something uh, you know text and. Uh, it's like that on a uh, most uh, social me- Instagram, of course, is made yeah. for uh, for images only, and uh, I I kind of wish that text memes would uh, make a comeback, you know. Uh, and uh, of course, I asked about your favorite memes, so now I have to ask about your least favorite ones, some that you hate that you wish would disappear. Oh God, I mean, I wish you could you could ask this when I was still an OK Buddy retard, but like. I could give you a whole list, but now I've unsubbed. I don't want to be a part of that at all. Okay. I'm just, like, completely distanced. <sighs> I mean, it depends, because every, like, you know, week of the day or, like, week of the meme type shit that pops up on, like, Twitter or, like, Reddit, mm-hmm. like, some of them are fine. Some of them are just, like, utter garbage. I mean, I... <laughs> like, I can give you any specifics, to be honest. It's just kind of a thing that happens every so often. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, currently, I... no, not really. Anything that sticks out for me. Okay. Uh, for me, lately, it would be the the shaggy meme. Uh, I oh, use yeah, fuck like, that. I, I thought I that shit was over. I so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, yesterday, uh, Walmart made a tweet, like... Uh, uh, oh, uh, do you know that the almighty Shaggy only used 0.07% of his power oh, when yeah, creating yeah. Walmart? Actually, no. You actually got me <laughs> thinking about a fucking meme I hate. Yeah? Okay, because this is going to be kind of retarded, but like, I used to love r slash memes. I was on it since I was like 5k, and then now it's just absolute garbage. Uh-huh. And and then like one of the mods got banned, and now every day it's just like, please unban this mod, Reddit. Please unban. He's the coolest guy ever. I'm like, I, and then like, there's like comments in the sections like borderline defending pedophilia because he got banned for posting like a lolly, and then they're oh. like, okay. Reddit admins when they see a flat chested girl, I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're oversimplifying, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's wrong, mm-hmm. and it's pretty stupid. <laughs> And they're always just going off to, on it constantly, yeah. trying to start some shit. I'm like, I really don't care. Stop. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Fuck that. Um, is it um, is it too private or uh, to ask about what you want to study later when you go to college, or do you even want to go to college? Yeah, no, I'm I'm planning on going to college. Uh, that's not too private. I'm um, planning on studying computer science. Okay, uh, nice. I've already been gotten into, like, University of Maryland. I'm just waiting on, like, decisions back from, like, Carnegie Mellon, Columbia. That's sort of, like, the Ivy Leagues, so. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. That's always such a fucking surreal thing because, like, I'm good at school, and then, like, I go home, and then I be retarded. Uh-huh. I, like, make funny fraud, like, Jesus. I, like, with my friends, I would, like, join Skype calls and then, like, just, like, pour toilet water on myself and just, like, dunk my feet in the toilet and then just, like, oh. start brushing my underwear with a... I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's, like, a duality of man type thing because all the time I'm, like... I guess, like, in real life with, like, normal people, I'm, like, quiet. 
I'm smart, like reserved type stuff, and then I get home and I make shit like OK Buddy retard, you know? Yeah, yeah. I I think it's more common than we think, but people usually keep this private so you we don't know as much about it as but um yeah, I think most people do this kind of shit to an extent. I mean this oh, uh man. toilet thing, I don't know. It's, <laughs> maybe maybe you created a, a fetish or uh, something like that. No, Some... it's not a fetish. It's just be like, I'll just join the call. I won't say anything. And be like, oh, who's in the call? Then they'll look at their screen, and then it's just me dunking my foot in my toilet just because why not? And then I leave but the call. Strangers or, or your friends? Like, okay, they're like my old friends from Thailand. So it's not strangers. Uh, okay. I mean, I would if I could. But, like, yeah. if you're in, like, a public Discord, like, type thing, you can't show video, which is sad. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about uh, doing this on Jack Roulette or uh, Omegle, you know, probably would work a lot. Uh-huh. I don't know. It would be a hoot. Um, <laughs> do, do you remember uh, Chat Roulette, or were you too young when it happened? Chat Roulette? Was that... That's just basically... It's basically like Omegle, but with video, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Me and my friends, we used to do Omegle all the time and we found a bunch of black guys jerking off on camera it was fun uh huh yeah that's uh <laughs> classic stuff I remember uh I remember seeing um one guy who um improvised on, on piano on chat roulette based on what he saw on uh on the camera it was pretty fun made a lot of videos like that pretty cool yeah and uh, some people were into it, and some people were really uh, offended for some reason. <laughs> it was weird. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, computer science, do you wish to uh, do stuff like uh, robots, artificial intelligence? Because I do currently do robotics. Like Nice. I'm, like, president of my, sc of, like, my school's robotics team. Uh -huh. And I did, like, the coding and the building type stuff. But right now, I don't know. I it doesn't really matter for me and honestly I might change my major because I guess all around I'm pretty good at just everything computer science is just kind of like something I'm like pretty good at pays good money and then like I'm sort of interested in you know uh -huh. yeah. and like I don't know so I, when I say computer science I'm going in there for like schools like Carnegie Mellon who have like great computer science but at the same time I'd like I'd probably like to go to like Columbia or something because it's like you have more freedom and you could change your major easier you know yeah, you're not yet really sure that what you uh, what you want to do later. I mean, I have some idea, but at the same time, it's not like you know set in stone. Like, yeah, it's obvious, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. I get it. <laughs> it's um, so. <clears throat> what's your opinion on uh, Big Chungus? Oh my god, it's fucking terrible. Even, like, I thought it was funny for, like, a couple of days. Like, I probably have some images on my phone of just, like, the funny Big Chungus because the original source is, like, funny. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it just, as it does with, like, every, like, meme of the week, it just spirals out of control and then it becomes something garbage, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes it's bland uh, at first and then people make it spicy uh, day after day. It, it, uh, I've seen both. I've seen both. I... Really. I would be inclined to disagree with you. Most of the time when people get involved and it becomes popular, it just like become because it's just like no joke is funny forever. People just want like you can say the same joke a million different ways, but at the same time, it's still the same joke, you know? Yeah, sure. And then I maybe if it's like doesn't reach the public eye or become something super huge and just like spiral out of control, I could see what you're saying. But most of the time I can't. I can't really think of anything where it's like, oh, this was so underground, and now, like, it's better because, like, more people are, like, putting shit into it. Like, I used to, like, like, four years ago, like, when I used to just use Facebook instead of Reddit, mm -hmm. <laughs> sounds terrible, like, Lost mm -hmm. Posting was, like, a super huge thing, it was, like, underground type oh, thing, yeah. and it was, like, a big inside joke, and I used to do it all the time, and then, bam, like, two years later, it's now just garbage. So, yeah, yeah, it's like it even if, going, if yeah, you do that to like fucking like sixth graders, like haha, that's the funny uh, lost joke. I saw mm -hmm. that on me IRL yesterday. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been around for a long time. It, it started in 2008, and uh, it, it, yeah. it goes and comes and goes. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's um, dead though now. Like, I mean, uh, kinda, but it, it always was, and it never really dies. It's like recrawling. I've been recrawled last week on Reddit, and uh, like I fall for this shit all the time. And I remember the first time I got recrawled, it was like at the beginning of the meme. I haven't, I hadn't even heard about it. Uh, you know, it was like, what, what is this thing? And uh, also, um, at first, it was not just uh, posting the the video, but uh, the links uh, made pop ups that you that you couldn't, uh, you you had to close like a lot of pop ups be before you could stop the video. It was. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was a long time ago, and uh, yeah, it's still going on. You know, it's like like Doge. We still see Doge in, uh, in different shapes. Uh, I mean, because that's because Doge is just like such a. Now it's not like just a matter of Doge, because before it was Doge, and it was like Doge is talking in a wacky way. Yeah, like that's it. Now it's just like Doge has just been used as a format. It's not like a matter of like Doge memes. It's not a Doge meme. It's just like a normal meme, but they're more, like supplementing Doge into it. I don't know. Whenever people say like, "Oh, these are Doge memes," no, they're not. They're just like normal jokes, but just like, "Haha!" It's like something serious is happening over Doge, which is, I mean, that's the yeah, joke, yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's a that's a evolution of the the meme. I mean, the 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 Doge memes that that everyone remembers when he says like, "Wow, uh, such good, uh, very that these were Much not the first one, genocide, you know." Yeah. No, that that was that was already the second form of the meme. At first, it was just a text post on Tumblr uh, yeah. about um, I don't know how to say in English, but the the games when you uh, have uh, what do you want to do uh, uh, number one. Uh, uh, do this number one do this you know and um like the you run you run adventure books and yeah. um uh, and uh, at first it started it was just a text post uh with uh you encounter a doge number one uh fight doge number two run number three pet doge you chose pet doge the doge is pleased and it was just that and then the picture was added and then it was just a picture used as the reaction image on 4chan and shit. And yeah. then uh, Reddit added the the, the wacky Comic Sans uh, t text with the, the the colors and the wow, such uh, this, such that. <laughs> so uh, it's it's continuously evolving. And what we're seeing now is, uh, in my opinion, it's still the Doge memes. It's a new form. It's the new stage of its life, but it's, uh, I don't know, I, I don't see it as something entirely new, even if the, the format is new with the, uh, oh, Bethany, uh, you you contemptuous fiend, uh, release me Give from, me back from my the... foreskin, or whatever. That yeah, was, yeah, like, release me from leak. the chalk zone, or, uh, you know. The poop sock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, that, that <laughs> poop sock meme is so good. And uh, I, 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 see, I see more and more of it recently. I really love it, and uh, all the all the variants that are so funny, uh, um, the, the the peace drawer, uh, the you know the the the, 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 the poop couch, yeah 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 all of it. Uh, why did the why did the sperm uh, cross the road? I don't know. Because I put my, the wrong socks on this morning. Okay. <laughs> I I don't know. It made me it made me really laugh. It's dumb, but I love this right. kind of dumb shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, 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 you play uh, video games. Yeah, I do play video games. Uh, you know, I don't know. Us. I haven't played too many video games. I guess recently. This. I mean, this is gonna get kind of personal because like. My epic depression, it, uh, I just, like, lost interest in video games over time. Like, even mm -hmm. though I would want to play, like, oh, I want to do that. It's just, like, I don't have the energy, and, like, I've just lost interest on top of that. Like, uh -huh. if I want to play a video game, so, I don't know. Uh, I don't mean yeah. to bug down the podcast or anything, but I don't really play too many video games, like, recently. 
Uh-huh. I used to play it a lot. Like I have more than a thousand hours on TF2. Oh, like okay. I almost ha- I nice. think I almost have a hundred hours or a thousand hours on League of Legends. Mm-hmm. Jesus, it's depressing. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite genre? Uh, I don't know. More recently, I've just been playing shitty, I guess, visual novels because uh-huh. I started with Danganronpa, which I liked a lot, and then I bought all three and I played through all three. Then I, jeez, and I think then I got Life is Strange. Mm-hmm. Heaven Will Be Mine, Valhalla. So I'm, I don't know. I've been playing those more frequently than the others. Yeah, I've never tried a visual novel yet. I, I've yet to try. I have some friends who are really into them, and uh, I've been meaning to try, but, uh, you know. I've... I would not recommend getting into it because it's for big fucking loser nerd weeaboos. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, I... Half of those things, so, uh, you know, but, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you watch any TV lately? Uh, I don't really watch too much TV, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I think just last night I was watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to catch up on it, because that's, like, my favorite anime. Like, I've read part five through part eight, like... Jesus, like three to four times over, like each part individually. Oh. Uh-huh. And then, yeah, besides that, I don't know. I've been, I also caught up on Steven Universe, like the fucking Tumblr trash I am. Mm-hmm. And then I like the uh, finale that came out recently. I rewatched that, like, I think a week ago. So. Okay. What's your favorite social network and why? I don't know. If you asked me like a year or two ago, I'd probably say, no, if you asked me three years ago, I would have said Reddit, but like Mm -hmm. now, I don't know, it just, I don't know what to say anymore because when I first started using Reddit, it was like this magical place for dumb, retarded shit, and then like, I remember the old stuff like Deep Fried Memes when I first got there, was like 5k members, I like asked to be a mod, and my god. The first images I made for, like, that site were terrible, looking back, and then, Jesus, uh, and there's also stuff like Comedy Cemetery, which is now just, like, just images off Facebook they take, and they're like, this is bad and funny, yeah. it's, it's not even, like, it's just, like, a bad image, it's not, doesn't have any humor value, I remember that, I used to get, like, because I got a pretty good amount of Comedy Cemetery images, or Bone Hurting Juice images from that place, as well as, like, other, like, supposed, like, oh, these images are so cringe, like, sort of subreddits. Now it's just, like, all the magic's gone. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if that's yeah. Just... Uh, so, I, I don't know. I like, all the, used... I like all the new ones, though, that are based on the, on that. Like, Comedy Heaven, for example. I love Comedy Heaven. Yeah. I don't, uh, and, uh... I don't know. I don't really use... I mean, I browse Reddit, but I don't know. It's, I just kind of go through it. It's not the same. I would say, I don't know, I've been using Twitter a lot more because, like, there's better art and stuff okay. on there, which is nicer because the art you see on Reddit's just like, hey, I drew a big booby anime girl. Like, yeah. Please give me karma. That or it's some, an- some girl, like, dressed up as a boob- big booby anime girl being like, please give me karma. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there, there, are, some, there are some good uh, art subreddits. Like, uh, for example... I took a picture for photography that is it's really nice in my opinion you know mm-hmm. but uh, reddit uh, is is especially good for uh, yeah for photo- photography subreddits are good uh, but uh, you know when people start making drawings and shit yeah like, I don't know uh, I never really cared for t- photography I mean okay that's there are good photos like definitely but most of the time for photos just like hey look at this nice landscape hey look at this nice thing it's not really like I'm not really getting anything like yeah I've I've seen the sunset over some trees nice job buddy like I mean there are nice pictures out there like especially if it's like out in the wild I think or like in specific areas that like I don't know you wouldn't see often I think those are pretty cool but most of the time like photograph like it's just like, hey, this is a nice picture of something. I yeah, know, it's, I true, it's it. true. It's true. It's true. It's uh, true. Uh, now that you, not that you know that you see it like that, I realize that you know I I do graphic design as a hobby, and uh, mm-hmm. of, often I use photographs as an inspiration. But uh, just looking for photographs just for their uh, 
just for photos it can be boring yeah absolutely yeah um, uh, uh, if you're researching a subject it, it's interesting but uh, you know I mean uh, you know um, so um, you have like clinical depression well I have clinical depression and anxiety which uh -huh. is fun like my yeah. hands are shaking like oh, I don't know constantly most of the time my hands are like uh -huh. subtly shaking but then if it's like an anxious situation like this or if like I'm talking to people then yeah it becomes somewhat noticeable sometimes my jaw might shake uh, and I have depression which is I mean I'm on antidepressants right now okay and that's sort of linked well it is linked to my dysphoria which is really funny and epic do you um, do you think uh, they're not the right ones for you? Maybe do you... medication. Yeah. No, I, it's because like the depression is linked to the dysphoria. Like oh, because before I used to like, jeez, I used just like before I was on anti like this current antidepressant. I think I'm on Zoloft right now. Mm -hmm. It was it was just like a constant weight type thing, and then like my my head would always like. It wouldn't be like hurting. It'd be like cloudy, and then like I'd be like hard time focusing, and I'd always yeah. be like I'd be sleeping all afternoon because I'd just be so goddamn tired, and then like yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want I could. It, it's like it was like impossible for me to like get out of the bed in the morning. Jesus. And then now it's like it's like that constant weight and like feeling bad is gone, but at the same time like the low energy, the lack of interest in things, it's still there, and that just like all my emotions, it's just kind of blah you know it's not really anything like i don't really feel happy i don't really feel too sad and i don't really feel too anxious i mean if i do feel mm -hmm. it's like subdued and then it just kind of fades away okay. well um if i if i can if i may give advice um a, it would be to talk to your doc doctor about it yeah uh, I've, I've when i because you know just when I was first diagnosed with depression and anxiety, uh, Zoloft was the first thing they put they put me on because it's uh, it's like the classic medicine that yep. normally works for most people, and uh, it it did exactly the same to me. Like I was uh, I was really tired and I was uh, not motivated to do anything. The mood was fine, but the rest was not. And uh, so we tinkered a, a lot with the medications, and I tried a lot of different stuff. And a godsend for me was uh, this thing called mirtazapine. Uh, and uh, it's really for energy, for motivation, and it works both on depression and anxiety at the same time. It's it's really really great. So maybe ask your doctor about it. If I, well, I don't want to, you know, pry no, into no, your no. life or because I've been through like psychiatrists for like a whole year, and I've uh -huh. been on like different antidepressants. But like before was like Lexapro, which is like weaker. Mm -hmm. I got on my new antidepressants after I went to a transgender clinic, and they gave me antidepressants before like. After they did lab work stuff, so like, I mean, I'm definitely like getting it fixed. It's just like it take, you know, it's just like a waiting game. You know, it takes yeah, know, time for it to be solved. I know. I am very familiar with, uh, with the subject, and uh, so uh, that's why I wanted to talk about it. I don't want to pry into your private life, but uh, I'm very interested <laughs> in it because I myself have depression, anxiety, and chronic stress, and uh, I've had um, I've had a rough time at uh, at first with the medications uh, and. Uh, the first, uh, the first that I've tried um, had uh, they worked, but they had terrible side effects that made my life even more difficult than uh, than the depression initially did. And um, I, I was, I was not, you know, ready to. I was almost ready to give up, not give up on the medications, but you know, um, it's so much better to not have all the because I had really like wild mood swings. Like mm -hmm. horrible mood swings that make my life uh, so difficult, and uh, and also there's the there's the issue with uh, motivation and uh, and all that. I felt so lazy and I did nothing uh, oh, man. at all for for so Jeez. long. You know, it's it's weird because the first time I realized uh, there was something really wrong with me, I was I was watching uh, a video on some gaming channel on you on youtube and uh because uh recently the um, 
the um, WHO uh, has classified gaming addiction as um, mental disorder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they explain the symptoms. Uh, it's like you uh, you game even when you shouldn't. You cannot stop. Uh, gaming and uh, you choose to do video games instead of doing things uh, that could be uh, important for you like eating or going to work or uh, mm -hmm. you know going to the toilet and the, the gaming uh, even if it's uh, something good that you like you, you you ignore it and you prefer gaming and I was like that, that's insane um, n nobody is uh, I, I, uh, nobody I know is addicted like this to anything and then I I realized, oh shit, I'm I'm just like that, but it's to doing nothing and staying in bed all day, even if it's detrimental to me, even if I'm losing, uh, you know, job opportunities and uh, maybe even friendships and uh, and a lot of stuff. I, I I will do nothing, even if you know there is a leak in my bathroom that I should fix and it would take me thirty seconds, but I'd rather ignore it and you know. And that's that's when it's, it's kind of weird, but that's when I realized, yeah, I guess something is wrong with me. And I was diagnosed like in five minutes when the doctor saw me. Like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you do you think about killing yourself often? I was like, yeah, a couple times a day, but it isn't like the same for everybody. And no, no, that's not normal. <laughs> I was like blown away because I've been like this for such a long time that it was so normal to me. I thought everyone was like that, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. they just uh, put on a face and uh, and pretended everything was okay. But uh, I, I never really realized uh, I was not normal. And I, I'm glad I um, I did. It was a uh, it was a weird epiphany. Thanks to uh, thanks to a video on a top ten gaming channel about <laughs> gaming addiction. Well, I don't know. For me, Jesus. Uh... I guess this is gonna be. If I do get into this, it's a long ass story. I don't know if you want me to. But sure, do please. <sighs> okay. Well. Uh, so I think like two, three years ago, mm. I'd like spent the summer at my dad's house, and just like the entire summer, or, like I, that summer was like, oh man, I want to do YouTube videos. I want to like. Do this stuff i want to like get good at violin i want to do all these nice things and then like i just couldn't like i just had no energy and like when i wanted to it just like i couldn't like i want i made videos but then i was like this is garbage and i hate this and then i just like yeah. deleted them and if i played and i like never touched the violin i just kind of rolled around in bed all day and i was like why am i like this like yeah i don't i don't, I don't want to do this and then like when i went back to school that year i started getting like I started noticing like during class and stuff my hand and like I start like my, my like I would actually start shaking like my hand would be shaking my teeth would be shaking like all this other fun stuff that was like junior year when I first started noticing like something was like wrong and s then at the same time uh, this is probably going to be extracted from all the rest of the other stuff but at the same time I thought like I was gay like at the same uh -huh. similar time and you know, cuz I was like I knew there was something wrong with me I guess I don't know sexually and then like in terms of like self image I hated how I looked and just like I would look at like this was like pretty consistent throughout my whole life I would look in the mirror and just like constantly hate how I looked I mean I guess it wasn't as bad before but like now like when I was depressed like and everything else started ramping up I definitely looked at like terribly and like I felt stupid I was like because most of my life I thought I was like chubby ish I wasn't like you know morbidly obese or like obese I've always been like you know maybe 20 30 pounds over just like you know regular weight like chubby uh and then I just thought like oh man it's just because like I'm fat I'm like a big fucking like fat faggot that's it like if I just like go work out like get it off and become like more of a man type shit then I'll like it'll all be solved like depression will be done yeah <laughs> Lots it's of always fun. like that. Yeah, yeah. You fixate. You're. Uh, you always think that if I get this solved, then everything will be all right. If I get if I get a girlfriend, then everything will be all right. If I get a job, yeah. everything will be all right. And it and it yeah, and it never works because the, the yeah, because it's inside and, of you. 
and then after that, I started like, I don't know, then I was still like feeling depressed all the time. I guess it wasn't super bad, but it was kind of bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I guess it'd be more like now, but a little worse. Uh, and then I was like, I joined a sport. It was, I joined crew and that was like a big jocks, like sport where like everyone's like, whatever, hoorah. All that fun bull. And then yeah. I started working out. I started losing some weight. And then, but the at the same time, though, I was gaining muscle. Just like, yeah, it's a good thing. Like, I'm going to be a big muscular man. It'll be all fixed. And then, like, I remember, like, looking in the mirror and feeling even worse. Like, after mm. I'd become muscular. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, started panicking. It's like, I can't get any more muscle. I need to quit, like, crew now. Uh, then I quit crew. And then at that time, I was like, because. At the time that I was in crew for like six months, uh, I would say my sexuality like would keep going on like back and forth. Uh -huh. I would think I was gay. I would think I was straight. Just like, I don't know. Not on like the flip of a dime, but just like, you know, flopping back and forth a lot of the time. Uh -huh. And then eventually got to the point where just like, I don't, I don't think I'm anything. And then it was just like, a lot of it was like a lot of sexual, I guess, frustration, just like confusion you know uh and then i guess like christmas break time i don't know if yeah whatever i'll get into it uh at, so at this time i was like I, I just quit crew i was like what's wrong with me like it, that should have like fixed it i should have been like feeling better yeah and the first time I noticed anything was like my mom was like I was cooking with my mom and I was I was wearing an apron and I like went to the bathroom and I remember going being in the bathroom looking at myself in the apron I was like I remember looking like I was like what I was like I felt like I look I felt that I looked really good uh -huh. which I don't I, it wasn't like a oh man I'm such a sissy or like all this no it was just like I just remember looking in the mirror and being like huh you know sort of thing yeah. <laughs> Then at the time, I thought it was like, oh, I want to be, you know, a trap or whatever. Like, I'll be a gay guy who looks like a girl type type shit. And so I, like, told my parents, like, I was feeling, because I already told them about the weird gay stuff that was happening. Mm -hmm. And then I told them about, like, that, because I thought it was more of a matter like, oh, I just want to be, like, a feminine gay guy type thing. That's what I thought at the time. And then just gradually over time, I was like, I started like reading up on transgender stuff. I started like going onto like transgender subreddits and I was like, huh, yeah, this makes, this makes sense. And then like from that point on, it was just like, oh yeah, I'm definitely like, you know, trans ever since like I had that like sort of realization, you know? Yeah. It's good to have answers. It's always the big first step to, uh, sort of, I mean, the, the voucher when you say this makes sense that's always i mean for me that was a relief yeah so so that's then that was like a year ago it was like when i first had that like realization like yeah i'm trans and then ever since then i've been like trying i've been going through like psychologists therapists psychiatrists to like try to get i don't know uh, hormones get the fucking titty skitty. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been trying to do for like the past year. Okay. Yep. Um, you mentioned Thailand earlier. You were born there. Um, I lived in Thailand for five years. Oh, okay. I was born. <laughs> This is gonna sound it's so weird. I was born in Elwood, Indiana, which is like an hour away from any sort of town anywhere in the world mm -hmm. in Indiana. And then my parents and then my dad, he joined the Foreign Service when I was like, I don't know, I was super young. And then like he became like a visa issuer in uh, India. Uh -huh. And so we moved to India for two years. And after that, my mom also joined the Foreign Service. And then she went to DACA, and my dad stayed in the U.S. And then I was in DACA for two years. Then my mom went to Thailand, and my dad's like he. My parents got divorced around that time after DACA, and then they've been kind of doing. My dad was kind of doing his own thing, 
And then I was in Thailand for five years after that. And then after those five years, I returned back to the United States. And I've been here for like two, three years. So. Okay. Do you watch YouTube at all? Yeah. I, oh, my goodness. Especially if I was depressed. That's usually what I would do. Just uh. constantly. Like, I remember looking at my stats, like, when I was, like, super down. And then it was, like, uh. I yeah. averaged five hours a day. Yeah, yeah. Same. Uh, do you have favorite channels or, you know, oh especially goodness. small channels that you want to talk about? Or... I don't know. Currently, there's, mm -hmm. in terms of small channels I'm thinking about. Uh, I mean, not necessarily small. I would just do. I don't know. My favorite, my favorite was just like, I remember being in middle school. My favorite was Star and Germa. Just, oh my God. I used to watch Star Vid. I, like, I could probably recite every single Star video, like down to like a script because i used to rewatch that mm -hmm. not daily but like monthly weekly type stuff oh my god it's <sighs> jeez uh that was a lot of when i was in middle school and i think they're still good uh and then i would say video game donkey i don't know about now he's just kind of like another youtuber who plays video games now he's still got his old charm but like i remember like his my favorite time like period was like not even like when, but it was like not even before he just quit league. It was like, I guess a year or two before that when he just made stupid fucking videos all the time, and it wasn't like, wasn't scripted. It wasn't. It's. It was just like, like his top one hundred games video uh -huh. is like an instant classic. Like a lot of his old league videos where he's just like, being retarded and just making a dumb fucking and saying random garbage. Yeah. Like, I used, like, there was just a random word he used in his video. Like, he just made up, he would just made up, like, random words like Bombo Blast, like, Sheena's oh. Punch, and, like, one of them was Chungus, and I used that all the time because I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Once you know, January this year, if I say Chungus, people think I'm being some funny memer. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I know. I, like, especially middle school-wise, I used to just fucking, <laughs> oh, my God. I would just, like quote donkey videos 24 7 because it's so stupid pretty sure that's gonna be like this generation's monty python because people are just gonna like quote. <laughs> like that's gonna be the humor they can't think of anything they'll just quote uh uh not even close baby ha 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 good one uh fuck i hope not oh this reminds me uh that um uh, 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 s some couple of weeks ago, I was w uh, watching a FAQ on Anthony Fantano's channel, the busiest music nerd, and uh -huh. um, one one, uh, one watcher uh, asked him, uh, "Is Seco Mode this generation's Bohemian Rhapsody?" And I was like, "No, please." <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's probably gonna be like. I remember the 2010 eras where it was like all pop, like that was the big thing, and now it's like hip hop. It's like now that's the big thing. That's like what tops the billboards. That's what people care about. Before in like 2010, I'm pretty sure Soko Mode's probably gonna be like like moves like Jagger, or one of those other garbage songs, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. I I hope it doesn't become Bohemian Rhapsody because yeah. also Bohemian Rhapsody was hated when it was first made. And then, like, 90s, it looked like shit's like Wayne's World kind of made it big, but, like... Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, 95. Uh, it was... Uh, Freddie Mercury was on his, uh, on his deathbed while they were filming Wayne's World, and uh, <laughs> they came to ask him if it was okay uh, to uh, use Bohemian Rhapsody in the movie, and he said yes, and uh, it was... Uh, it was not really an instant classic, but uh, over time uh, it developed yeah, yeah, kind, yeah. Of a, kind of a following. And, uh, kind of like the lost meme. At first it was not that big, and then it kind of disappeared. And then I remember exactly when it got big again. It was November 2015. I remember yeah. because uh, that's when I was... Uh, um, after, uh, after a long while of not being too much into memes, I was getting back into them. I had been hooked uh, because one day I was browsing Tumblr like I do every day. I love Tumblr, and um, I saw um, I I follow a lot of meme and shitposting blogs, 
and I saw someone post a screenshot from a Facebook page called Asbestos Removal Memes. That's a classic. Oh, and great! Like, More asbestos. What is this? Yeah, and it was and it was um it was late 2014, and I was mind blown by the fact that there's a page on Facebook called Asbestos Removal Memes, uh, and I I was I looked at this picture every day. And I, I laughed every time, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I, 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 you know." That and it's it's what really uh, hooked me back into the the meme culture and uh, into looking at memes uh, all, all, all the time. And uh, and twenty fifteen was uh, was uh, like the year I got really back into it. And uh, yeah, do you? Uh, you mentioned uh, being uninvolved in the OK Buddy Retard uh, subreddit. Do you think about making new ones or maybe starting like a meme page on Facebook or Instagram or maybe I mean, Tumblr? I mean, I have made a new one, but I don't know. It's just kind of like OK Buddy Retard, but for old people. It's called Funny Frog. I already made one. I made uh -huh. it like a month or so ago. It's got like 5K, so it's not uh -huh. bad. It's still there. I'm like, eh. OK. Uh, if you want to, if you want to share, just ask. Uh, sure, share it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really yeah. harsh, but I don't know. I don't. I'm not really big on subreddit moderating right now. I'm just kind of. I don't know. I've been doing Twitter a lot more because it's just easier and then it's like less stress. I'm just like, say uh -huh. something. It's like, you just kind of just retweet things you think are funny and you maybe say a funny thought you've had yeah it's easier and i don't know i don't most yeah, of the yeah. time with subreddits like it's a big thing and you have to like constantly monitor it you got to do stuff with it and the same and like if you want to go all yeah. out you have to do like events and at the same time I'm just like eh, you know i'm not really into it right now you know yeah yeah it's much 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 easier and much more rewarding on um, facebook i i think uh, and uh, what's what's really hot right now is Instagram. Oh uh, God, don't! Oh man, every time I think about Instagram, it makes me feel bad because all the time, like this is like whenever I would show my friends like the stuff I made on like bone hurting juice, okay, buddy, retard, or any of these other stuff, they'd be like, "Oh my God, you're so retarded! This is stupid!" And then like a year later, they're like eating it up. Like the stuff they called retarded, and be like, and they're like, "Oh man, I saw this on Instagram today. It's hilarious." Uh huh. So I don't I know. Mean, I mean, people change. It's good, and um, you know, they don't really change, but they kind of evolve, and uh, it's uh, they have better tastes now. I guess. The thing is, they just never admit the fact that yeah, I was saying that a year ago, and like they're like, "Oh no, oh. you're stupid. You're retarded. You're stupid, and you're retarded." <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not arguing. I think I am. I guess I don't know how I act socially. It's pretty stupid and retarded, but I don't uh, know. yeah, yeah. I guess we uh, we all kind of are, and it's um, it's better it's retarded to, uh, in their own way. Yeah, yeah. It's good to admit it. It uh, it's the most important. It's to realize uh, your uh, your retardedness, and we all have some some retarded aspects in our uh, personalities, and. Uh, the humor is uh it, it's it's good um do you, uh, do you watch a lot of comedy what do you mean like stand up or just like comedy shows or like what do you mean um, i mean both um i used to watch a lot of comedy shows like i watched like especially like middle school like freshman times i watched it's always sunny in philadelphia a lot oh, i watched a lot of archer uh -huh. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. That was before it became like a big popular thing. Now, like, is it then, really a big popular thing? Yeah, now it's it is. I would still say still pretty underground. I'd say. No, it's on Reddit and stuff. But like, most people in real life, they watch it's only sunny in Philadelphia. Like at my school and stuff. Like, yeah, they quote it. They like mention it, sort of stuff. But like, uh, I used to watch a bunch of Archer. Uh huh. That, I don't know Archer. And, Looking back, Archer is kind of an S show. A lot of it is just like, it's like that, that Tumblr type humor where it's just like, I don't know how to describe it, where they're just like always overreacting and be like, yeah. 
and then like the humor is just like them being sassy with each other for like no reason, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and then now it's kind of a like, I would call this verbal slapstick. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, in terms of comedy, I mean, I watch some stand up every so often, uh, uh-huh. but like it's not a consistent thing. I don't really watch too much comedy nowadays. Most of the time, I'm just like on YouTube. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, you know, not necessarily, not necessarily recent one. Recently, I've been rewatching a lot of old uh, Jerry Seinfeld stand up stuff, oh, and uh, it still holds up a lot of stuff years after. I mean, whenever I fold laundry, I'll like turn on the TV and like put on like an episode of Seinfeld. So that's what I do whenever I usually nice. do laundry. So it's epic. Yeah. You, um, yeah? Oh, no. You can go ahead. I was, like, coughing. Okay. Uh, do you know that uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is credited with uh, kind of starting the Rickroll uh, meme? I don't know. I didn't watch season one's, seasons, like, one through three because, to be honest, they're not too good, like, season yep. four or five-ish. But if that's from, like, those seasons, then... yeah, yeah. I don't know because I don't remember any instance of Rick Roll popping up, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Um, yeah, yeah, it was on season one. Um, yeah. There's one episode where Dennis is always listening to that song in his Land Rover, and uh, while he's driving around, and uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia was always big on 4chan since season one. Yeah, and um, <laughs> there was there was a lot of memes. Um, one picture that I've seen that is also from season one is Charlie eating a banana in a Nazi uniform. Yep. And uh, that was that picture was posted all the time on 4chan. Uh, and it was like uh, with the caption, welcome to 4chan, I'll be your guide or something like that, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Rick Rowling, uh, Rick Rowling was... Uh, started when this was this episode with Dennis Dennis listening to the song all the time because there was before um, a meme called duck roll uh, that's that was before Rick roll and um, because there was uh, a word filter on uh, the and uh, on you know word filters that changed yeah. the world to another one and uh, on the on the cooking board CK a lot of people were talking about um, egg rolls, you know, because, you know, that's the thing you talk about when you talk about food. And mm-hmm. egg, at some point, egg was word filtered to duck. So egg roll was word filtered to duck roll. And uh, people who was thought that was funny and they made a, a Jeff of a, of a duck with wheels uh, in a saucepan and it was called duck roll. And mm-hmm. uh, Rick roll was stemmed from that meme. And uh, they they added the song later, and uh, you know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I used to go on 4chan like when I was in like middle school, and that was when I was like, "She's super far right." And then like I used to go on like the Pokemon board and just talk about Pokemon twenty four seven, which is, jeez, uh-huh. uh, I don't know. Nowadays, 4chan is just like a far right hellhole. I don't I don't browse it. I don't like it. Okay, I've been uh, I've been back to browsing it recently after not going there often for a while, mm. and mm. I don't think it it really changed. But um, it's you know, if anything, there's no. I don't think it really changed. It's the same as it was in two thousand and seven when I first got into it. And, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't fuck with four chan. I don't okay. like it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, do you, you go on Tumblr a lot? Uh, I would use Tumblr just for art stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I don't use Tumblr anymore because the goddamn app, it would give me, like, six million notifications for, like, anything. Like, every day, I'd just be like, hey, look at this post someone made. Like, Yeah. I get yeah, that every yeah. day. And then I was like, even if you minimize it, I'm just like, oh my God, I really don't care. Cause I'm swiping these things like every day. You get like three or four of them a day. It's like, oh, look at this epic post. Like, oh, you'll never know what you love until you see this post. It's like, you're yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. Pick, you're just picking random posts from random users and being like, please come back, come back, please, dear God, come back. 
So I don't know. I did used to use Tumblr, but then I don't know. I kind of, I uh, uninstalled it off my phone, so I don't really use it too much. Do you follow any uh, meme creators, whether it's on YouTube or Twitter or whatever? Do you have fav favorite meme creators, household names that you particularly like? No, not really. Okay. There's, yeah, I don't know. If if I watch someone on YouTube, just because like it's not because they make a funny meme, it's because most of the time they have like entertaining personality or just like they make good videos. It's not a matter of just like yeah. Haha, ha, look, I made a meme, or like they make stuff on things that are interesting, or they like make stuff fun, like I don't know, or just like good videos, you know. I'm yeah. not doing it because that's the new hot meme, uh, funny Yoshi, funny Chungus. Oh my god, that's the new meme. I'm gonna post that to 9gag right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah. I've been following some creators on YouTube. There are some interesting ones. There's one that I've been following for a really long time called KML, KML, JKL. I don't know if you're familiar with his work. He nope, makes really like familiar. He makes like these really funny, really stupid videos that are really short, uh, al almost like vines, you know. But they're uh, kind of a mix between vines and YouTube poops, and uh, what um, you know. I've I've been watching surreal entertainment as well. He makes three D videos like in Blender or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're also like. It's kind of the, the material that you would see uh, in OK Buddy Retard, but in a video form, you know, it's uh, it's pretty. I mean, I I I, I like it, but uh, you know, you don't have to. You know. It's uh, it it reminds me of the good old new ground stuff from ten, twelve years ago. You know, the old uh, oh, man. Weebled stuff, um, what's the name of the Sad Fingers guy? David Firth, etc. You know, the yeah, ultimate. Uh, yeah. Even when Newground, my god, I got my, my my fucking password that I use all the time. I got it off Newgrounds. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like the random generated name. Okay. That's, that's, that was like my password. <laughs> I used to go on Newgrounds like 24 7 when I was like, Jesus. Elementary school in India, so it's like. Set. Oh my god, that'd be like third, fourth grade. I used to go on Newgrounds all the time. Ah, man. Yeah, yeah same. It's depressing. <laughs> That's yeah. a depressing thing to think about. Oh man, I right. I remember I used to love Foamy the Squirrel so much, which looking back is absolute like hot garbage, which is just like he swears a lot. And she's yeah. like, uh huh. But like, I used to love Foamy the Squirrel, like. Uh, I think, to be fair, I was in, like, third, fourth grade, so I can't really be, like, too mad at myself. Uh, so, like, mm -hmm. I remember we had, like, woodworking, and I made, for woodworking, I made a picture of Foamy the squirrel, and, like, with the word Foamy, and it was, oh, my God. I hope, I don't know what happened to it, but I hope it's in the garbage somewhere. <laughs> and there was another thing, like, in Foamy, there was, like, they had some joke move, like, horror movie was, like... It was like called like ass stabbers or something where like they would hide in your toilet and like stab you in the butt and then like Oh yeah, I remember this, it was so good. And then <laughs> I was in third, fourth grade. That used to terrify me. Like we were, <laughs> I remember we were like in Japan for like a layover trip or something like that, and then like they had these uh -huh. fancy toilets. No no, we were Oh in, yeah. No, no, no. We weren't in Japan. We were in Hong Kong and they had a fancy uh -huh. toilet and they were like my mom yeah. was like, Go try out the toilet. It's like cause like I don't know I don't remember how, but we got like a super nice suite. And it was like in a, in a fancy hotel. We had like a super nice suite. And it was like, oh, try out the toilet. And I was like, I'm good, mom. I, I don't have to use the bathroom because, like, I, at that time, I had like an intense fear of using toilets because of the ass stabbers or whatever the hell. Yeah, that was so good. My mom actually got mad at me because she thought I was like, I was afraid because like <laughs> she actually because she was like, I think I was being so ungrateful because I was afraid of using the toilet. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, my god. Oh, man. When I when I was when I was watching Newgrounds, you know, I was watching that shit all the time, and I was already an adult at the time because I'm mm -hmm. I'm old and I'm I always been kind of retarded. So, uh, but I I watched that shit. Um, I remember uh, the Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. You remember that? That was huge. <sighs> that was I don't. That was oh my god! What what year was that? Because I think two thousand six four. Yeah, okay, because at that time I was three years old, so... Uh-huh. Oh, wait, okay. no. I shouldn't give my age away. I mean, I was uh, 27 years old. <laughs> uh, 
And then there was the spoof, the ultimate orgy of homosexuality that was even better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel nostalgic about that sort of stuff. But I don't know. Yeah. It happened. You know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't really feel nostalgic because you know, it's not like it's dead. Uh, there's a continuation yeah. there's a continuation nowadays <sighs> with uh, YouTube channels like Surreal Entertainment, like mm -hmm. Cool Three D World that is huge and it is so good. I love Cool Three D World. And uh, uh, people like uh, Syriac, too, that made kind of the same shit. And David Firth is still uploading. There's been a new Sad Fingers episode a few days ago. I still haven't watched it, but I'm really excited about it. And, uh, mm, you know, so... I think my, my favorite things were from, like, Newgrounds, was especially, like, Psychic Pebbles, Oni and G, uh -huh. those sort of uh -huh. people. Like, even when I was in, like, middle school. Like, yeah. oh, my God, I... Like, even now, like, especially with Sleepy Cast, like, their continuation type thing, I've, I don't know, I've probably listened to every episode at least five or six times, because any, uh -huh. like, this was in middle school when I used to play League a lot, and it's like when Sleepy Cast was coming out, and, like, still being released, I used to listen to that every time I played a League of Legends game, and mm -hmm. then, like, I used to play League until, like, three or four in the morning, and so, like... Oh my god, I used to spend, like, there was a week off I had from, like, school, and, like, my parents were gone, and all I did was just lie in bed, or not lie in bed, but, like, lie on the couch, play League of Legends. That was literally it. I didn't do anything else. I just kept playing League games over and over and over, and that's how I got to, like, level 30. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, and then every time, all I would listen to is Sleepy Cast. Yeah. I, I wish they made more episodes, but... I mean, they're all, like, all the people who were in Sleepy Cast, like, they're, like, actual animators and, like, professionals now. Uh -huh. So it's kind of sad. But I still, I still like Oni plays and stuff, though. Because they're still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Eagle Raptor was, uh, big on the yeah. ground at the same time doing the same kind of shit. Um... But yeah, I don't feel like it has died. It, there's new people who make the same kind of stuff, and there are people from that era who still who still make the same kind of stuff. Like Weeble is still making stuff. Uh, he had a big thing. Um, I remember. In, I think it was in 2011 uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, amazing horse. Look at my horse. My horse oh is my amazing. God. That got pretty fucking big, and. Uh, and I think he's still making stuff. So, uh, you know, he's the, it's the same guy who made the the badger thing. Badger, 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 oh badger. Oh, God. That was oh. also... That was something. Shit like Charlie the Unicorn and the Narwhal. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, there's been a new Charlie the Unicorn release recently. I mean, recently. I haven't followed It was like four, since... four years ago, but... <laughs> I haven't followed that since, like, middle school. Jesus. Yeah. And the happy tree... F you know, yeah, what? Oh, I remember I was in, like, a museum in Georgia, and then it was, like, about narwhals. It was, like, an aquarium, and they had just, like, an exhibit on narwhals, and then <laughs> they had they had a picture of the narwhals fucking Newgrounds thing on there. And it was like, <laughs> people love making viral videos about the narwhals, and it had the narwhals video. I was like, oh, my God. I can't believe I remember that. That's terrible. Um, it reminds me of that fucking cringe uh, trend that uh, people from Reddit used to do, uh, like it was like in 2011, 2012, uh, when they were like in the wild with many quotes. Mm -hmm. uh, they they would ask uh, at uh, at what time does the narwhal bacon? Oh my god! You know that was I'm... to see uh, if uh, if people were from Reddit and uh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. answer was midnight. I, I, I remember being in camp and then like asking someone that because I used. To the time i used reddit for like rage comics because i thought that was sort of the epicest thing on the planet <laughs> oh, god even yeah, like but... even like when i made rage comics they were so retarded like my, <laughs> my first like my first post on reddit i think is just like a bunch of forever lone faces and it's just like when you gay poo poo and that's it yeah 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 remember blast it with peace Bla oh my god with i don't know that frog a god i think most of the time it was like even on rage comics it was just kind of like telling stories and like funny family guy moments but just like with the funny rage face you know yeah so. funny family guys moments oh yeah. i have a story about when the narwhal bacons because i was in like yeah like I, this is like i think 
sixth or seventh grade uh-huh. and my i was at a camp and then at the time i was like into fucking epic rage comics so then like i asked people like oh when does the narwhal bacon and then like my camp counselor heard that he, he stopped he looked at me he says like you're not old enough for reddit and then that's all he <laughs> said and then i was like <sighs> i thought he was gonna like kill me and like that i was like jesus yeah no yeah. and then tumblr tried to uh emulate the thing and uh, they would ask i like your shoelaces and uh, you should you had to answer thanks i got them from the president you know? uh-huh. yeah it was it was a uh, weird because that uh at what time does the narwhal bacon at the time i was hanging out on omegle and mm-hmm. i i got that sentence like so many times mm-hmm and I hated Reddit at the time, so I, uh, every time I insulted the the people who posted it, it was it was a weird time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, 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 yeah, I was so into 4chan at the time, and um, it was the, this red this feud between Reddit and 4chan because uh, the 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 thing that would um, that everyone was saying is that Reddit was stealing all the memes from 4chan, and it was. Absolutely stupid. Exactly what's happening right now between Reddit and Instagram, you know. The tables. Oh, how the turn tables. Um, yeah, yeah. And, uh, like, all these posts on Reddit about Instagram normies stealing memes from Reddit. Oh, that's so dumb. I hate that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Instagram normies. You know. Why can't people, you know, coexist in peace when... In, Everyone loves me. You know, it's it's a weird thing that has that has uh, happened to meme culture recently because a long time ago there was no meme culture. It's a recent thing. You like memers, the fact that we are starting to recognize meme creators. Uh, for the longest time, for like twenty years, memes was just these images and and, and shit that were passed around and nobody cared about who made them and I what see and, it on like and fucking... where they come from. You know. I see them on like talk shows that they're like talking about, oh, this is the hot new meme right off the presses. And then we'll like talk about like Grumpy Cat or some other garbage. <laughs> but to be fair, that's all Facebook garbage though. There's still separation. Yeah. But people care now. The word meme is like in popular vocabulary now, I would argue. But at the same time, it's not the same things, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and people say, oh, it's a meme, but it's just a funny it's image that has nothing to do with a meme. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Uh... I don't like the word meme. It's become so just overplayed because it can mean literally anything. Yeah. It's yeah, not like, yeah, yeah. I remember in, like the olden days, I used to use it as like ironic thing. Like, oh, what an epic meme, bro. Because like <laughs> no one uses the fucking yeah. term meme unless you're like on 9 gag or some garbage. <laughs> Did you notice that 9 gag has now just become like Facebook meme garbage? Like I'm pretty sure they steal, still steal from Reddit. But like most, I looked at it again. I was like, this is, this is like, it's just like, there's like a tech there's just like a white text over a black background and it's got like a picture of Morgan Freeman. It's like when Denise like shits in your diaper and it's like Morgan Freeman's like, That's what I said. I don't know. It's just like it's just all <laughs> Facebook memes now. Yeah, it's um I remember the when Night Gag started, it was all 4chan memes. Like for the first year, it was just stuff from 4chan. And then after a, a year or two it, it became just stuff from Reddit. Yeah, they straight and, uh, up stole images. Like they would just they like a whole bot accounts. I don't like they would just be like two word names and then just like you post something. And they would just take everything off the front page of Reddit, which I mean yeah, in terms yeah, of a yeah, business yeah. strategy is pretty smart because like, I, like what are people gonna do? Like oh no, like let me like you they can't sue you. Like I mean it's just images off a board that people post for anyone to use. So of course yeah. you're gonna like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what what really pissed everyone off is that um, they pretended that they made all that shit. You know, yeah. it's like the the nine gaggers, and uh, everyone thought that they were creating these images. And I remember uh, all the rage comics that I had seen on 4chan a couple of years ago were now on nine gag, and, and people yeah. were posting them, pretty, pretending that they made them. But yeah, I've seen I've seen this picture for three years. Uh, that that's not new, and uh, and also the I lost my soul on Nine Gag. Oh, I'm so edgy because I go on Nine Gag. That's what I, that's why everyone started to hate him, and there was well, this big war. Uh, you know, uh, uh, it was like 4chan, Reddit, and uh, 
I don't remember who else against uh, against uh, nine gag. And then there was E Major, I Funny, you yeah. know. Life. Even in the olden days, I Funny was just a garbage. It wasn't. It was like a shitty nine gag. You know, it's just like far yeah. right cesspit, and then it's just like when the it's like super edgy far right garbage. I don't know. Well, yeah. I remember yeah. in like when I was in fifth grade in my school it was like a big thing about nine gag versus reddit like i first started using nine gag and then i saw a post that was like oh yeah nine gags all sold images like oh wow this actually makes a lot of sense and then i went to reddit I was like yeah it's like the same images they just stole it so i started using reddit uh -huh. and it was like a big thing in my school like who used reddit who used nine gag like if you use nine gag you're a, you're stupid and like, people were like oh i don't care reddit's like design sucks like i can't even use it i was like nine gags better you're like this all mm. this it used to be a constant war I remember that. Speaking of which, what are your favorite subreddits? Uh, right now, I don't know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Most of the time, it's just like for games I play because I'd say Danganronpa because that's like a good subreddit. They post good art. They post funny frog images, and mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I guess Fire Emblem Heroes. I don't know. I don't know too much about. That subreddit because a lot of the time they just post big booby anime girls instead of just like I don't know whatever uh I don't know my feed there's some that like stick out to me but most of the time I'm just kind of like eh you know it's I don't know they're just kind of like places where sometimes the funny frog images happen to occur yeah I don't know yeah. I I'm kind of, to be honest, I feel like I'm kind of moving away from Reddit. Uh huh. So, I don't know. I want you to do YouTube a... stuff, but Epic Depression makes it hard to do that. I mean, yeah. ever since like ninth grade, that's like what I wanted to do. I used to make tons of YouTube videos. Oh my God. Like, there's uh -huh. a playlist like on my YouTube channel of just like so many fucking stupid videos I made with my friends. That were fun. Uh, even that. Even looking back, they're not bad. I like them still. Like I made one. It was just called like Hatsune Miku talks about our feelings, and it's just like a bunch of like clown noises, like dogs barking and like <laughs> buzzers. It's just like it's just like I literally just dragged the i i movie stock sound effect, and like I just overlaid like two million and be like, aha, gotcha, pranked, and that was it. <laughs> So, yeah, oh, that, remi that reminds me of a video that I've been that I've loved for like ten years. It's called uh, "Bark It" by Michael Dogson, and it's a dude who t who took a MIDI file uh, rendering of "Beat It" by Michael Jackson and replaced all the instruments by dogs barking. Uh, I, it's absolutely dumb and it's absolutely garbage, but it never fails to make me laugh. Like. Um, I I love that shit. Yeah, uh, it's really it's really dumb humor. Oh man, talking about like YouTube videos, like yeah, uh, like the first I guess one of the big first YouTube videos I ever made was uh, Jesus, it was a video called Camel Fun, and mm -hmm. I Jesus Christ, uh, so it was just like we found me and my friends we found this random camel song. Uh -huh. It's just like a little kid's camel song, and then we found a, this like we found a video of like a camel getting slaughtered, <laughs> and then like in the song when it's like walk like a camel ah like one would go ah it would cut to the camel's neck being slit and I was, oh my god looking back that's so <laughs> terrible, but at the same time that was like my friends loved like that video that, they thought that was the funniest thing like it was I sh like it was shown to people all around school and like that was like the funny hot meme of like ISB middle school, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I also used to use the camel fun video because when I was in Thailand, I used to play a lot of Gary's mod, and oh, yeah. I, I'm banned from every single cinema server in Thailand <laughs> because I would join and I'd play like either Camel Slaughter or like Nintendo Shit Cube and all these other just garbage videos. Like me and my friends, we'd all just join and then just join a cinema server and then just put random garbage on, like stupid shit, like for like 500 pound man like eats a chicken, like. I'm uh, I'm literally yeah. banned from every cinema server in Thailand, and I'm pretty sure I'm banned in like 
probably half of the dark rp servers because like oh my god me and my friends we would just go in dark rp and just like run around and just rdm people and just be oh my god and i miss gary spot yeah that makes me think about uh VR chat that is kind of becoming not really the new well, Gary's mod, but the you community You can't really is... fuck with people like in VR chat though is the thing. You just kind of walk around and talk to people. Yeah. And then, but then like in Gary's mod, you could like, me and my friend, we would be like, hey, we would all become police officers and just like stand around spawn, just like arresting everyone. If the mad admin like would try to kill us, we'd just like arrest them too. And then that'd be like a cause a big thing in the server. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, especially oh, if the admins left, we would just all join in and then just all become policemen and arrest literally everyone and people would be so pissed at us. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I was mentioning VR chat because it reminded me of the do you know the way meme, oh you know, God. Uganda Knuckles. And um, it's kind of the same thing, you know. And uh, it also it reminds me of the Habo Hotel. I, I don't know if you've uh, been on Habbo Hotel, but it's like was like before all that. The pools closed and all that. Closed. Yes, pools closed. Pools closed. Yeah. I used to get yeah. banned at Club Penguin a lot, even when I was a kid, because I would just like go up to people and said like, "You're a poopy head," and they'd be like, "Hey," and then I just run away. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, even as a kid, I was retarded. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, yeah. I I, mean, I paid for premium and I got banned because of stuff like that. I'd like throw snowballs at people and say like you're a poopy head and then run away. It's like second grade too. Oh yeah, God. yeah. I mean, it's it's a form of 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 humor that is uh um that is not even really humor. It's uh, you know what this reminds me of. You're you're. I'm gonna sound like really uh. uh -huh. What's the what's the fucking word? Pretentious saying that but it reminds me of, of a phrase coined by André Breton the guy who created the surrealist movement in yeah. France you know the surrealist movement of artists and uh, vaguely yeah. that and uh, he said uh, the most surrealist act possible is to like take a weapon like a gun go in the street and shoot a random stranger for no reason that's the most Surrealist thing to go. So going on Club Penguin and <laughs> insulting a random stranger, it's kind of the same thing, you know? It's, yeah, I see. It, it, I mean, it feels the same. It's, I mean, it's less harmful and it's 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 funnier. But, you know, I, I, I like that. You know, going to a random stranger and saying, oh, fuck you. Why? Friend, I don't I walk know. Away. No fucking reason, you know? Uh, I don't know if you've yeah. seen the film uh, Rubber by, by yeah. Quentin Dupieux. Uh, it was so good. It's about a, a tire that uh, comes to life and starts killing people. Mm -hmm. So fucking good. What are your favorite, uh, <coughs> excuse me, what are your favorite movies? Okay, cause that's a pretty good question. Uh, um, like I used, I watched the Evil Dead recently. I think that's pretty up there. Or sorry, not the first Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Robocop, that one's, I've probably watched Robocop three or four times cause it's a good movie. I think it's, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's not a cinematic masterpiece, but it's always really good. Then I think, geez, one that was good is uh, It's Always Such a Beautiful Day Outside. Geez, that one is so depressing, and it's like, but it's oh, a really never, good movie. Never heard about it. Oh my, it's like a stick figure, it's like stick figure animation, and like telling a story, and uh -huh. I, I don't even know how to describe it, because like a lot of, sometimes it just like, drifts off for like a couple minutes at a time where it's just like he's traveling through space and the other times he's like slowly dying oh my god i don't know that one always got me super depressed and then like well not like actual depressed but like it make me feel sad you know uh mm -hmm. in terms of other movies i guess most of my favorite i guess are shitty action movies uh -oh. robocop alien uh I guess more recent movies that I liked a lot. Uh, jeez, I really liked uh, Infinity War, which was okay. kind of weird. I actually, because I think maybe it's because just like the standards set by other Marvel movies, because like most other Marvel movies were like just kind of like just shit stuff that was sort of shit out, and they just kind of do it and, like, and like the villain is just evil because like either like money or like I don't know they're evil because like. They're yeah. evil and they want power. I don't know. I mean, that's usually what it is most of the time. I thought like Thanos was like the first like interesting villain that they had, you know. And I thought that was like I was like pleasantly surprised because and then like all all the people said like oh, 
the uh like the infinity war like bad as like pacing i was like i kind of agreed with that then i watched was like huh it's actually pretty good i like that uh-huh. uh i'm trying to okay. think of other but i don't really watch too many like current movies or like movies in general but yeah yeah me neither Yeah, like I, I was expecting mostly comedies because you mentioned Monty Python earlier, but uh, well, uh, no, you're more, more into action. Uh, in terms, of, I don't know. I, Monty Python is good, and like, but in terms of comedies, like, geez, there's not really too many good comedy movies. Like maybe Anchorman and Holy Grail, but besides that, most of it, like, especially modern comedy movies, is just absolute garbage. It's like yeah. they get Melissa McCarthy, they get like Will Ferrell, and they just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty oh bad. God. And it's just like. And it's not even humor. Like, was it? I'm trying to think of the movie that my parents. Like, my parents really wanted to see it. It was called. Uh, not Kathy. One with. I don't know. It's one with Melissa McCarthy and stuff like that. The joke is most of the time, haha, she fat, or haha, she fall, haha, she like. There's not like yeah. they're not humor with like interaction. It's just like these people aren't like normal people like doing like and they make funny quips and there's funny dialogue. These people are like they're not like it's not like they're being funny. They're like, you know, quote comedy characters where it's just like they're these crazy people who just act crazy for no reason and I'm like uh uh-huh, yeah. They like someone's just like, "Oh, this person's a redneck, so let's make him like shoot a gun and like drink beer at the same time and like drive his pickup truck or like Oh, this person's the fat person. Let's make him like eat. So it's just like they exaggerate, just like basic character traits for like comedy, but it's it's like it's not funny. Like what's yeah it's, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. oh, these people are just like big. It's not even big, just like exaggerated. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to laugh at. You know, There's yeah, nothing funny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember seeing a video essay on that recently, uh, and um, I mean not specially that, but these kind of characters. Uh, I think it was by nerd writer. I'm not sure, and uh, it was like the he called that passable characters. You know, characters who pass as normal in the context of the movie, but don't act or be- behave I like don't... normal people. You know. Yeah, they're like if those people exist in real life, they'd be psychopaths. I mean, but yeah. there's like there's like levels of just like. Because, like, in stuff, like, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, like, they are, those people are actual, like, but, like, it's not, they're not, like, they do act out, and, like, they do sometimes exaggerate, but at the same time, it's more grounded, you know, because, like, these people are just crazy, but, like, and they are exaggerated, but at the same time, they're not just, like, the joke isn't that, like, haha, they're fat, and it's, it's, like, yeah. it's just, like, their character traits, like, even then, their character traits are still semi-realistic, because, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But then, like in like modern mo- comedy movies, that's they're not like most of the time. Like if they try to be funny, they're not. It's just like someone will fall over and slip on a banana peel, or like they'll go on a jet ski and they'll like crash into a dock and be like, "Ha ha ha!" She, she's bad at driving, and then like, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then like stuff and like where they, it is just like these people are crazy characters. Like they're like actual people you could see, but at the same time, it's like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely... Even if they are, like, crazy, it's not even, like... It's, like, it's like actually, like, oh, man, that's so stupid because they act out in ways that are actually stupid, not just, like, aha, she, like, she slipped on a banana peel, you know? It's not, like, Charlie will, like, eat rats and, like, huff glue and, like, other garbage and, like, go sewer diving. I was, like, even to, like, anyone that's always crazy instead of just, like, this, like, lady's, like, loud and obnoxious, haha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 true. I mean, the characters uh, in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia work really well, in my opinion, because they're people who are just like us, but with our, you know, they have a, a fundamental difference, is that they don't have this filter, you know, this, uh, yeah. what uh, what uh, shrinks called the uh, uh, super ego, you know? Yeah. That 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 filter that makes us uh, not act out our our weird ass fantasies and our uh, sometimes we're waiting in line and there's some asshole and we want to punch them but we don't because that's not how you behave in a society we're civilized you know but people from uh, it's always saying Philadelphia they would punch that person yeah. because they don't give a shit about consequences they don't give a shit about what other people think 
of them and they they uh they, they don't yeah they don't care um uh, they don't care about the, the society it's it's weird because they're um you know i remember um why uh a lot of time when the sitcom is created there's like this rule to, on how to write a good sitcom and the first uh, rule that you gotta ask yourself is why are these people friends you know yeah and uh, the people from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the writers, uh, their premise is these people are friends because no one else will be friends with them. Yeah. And it's a Definitely great true. start for a show. It's a great premise, you know? It's kind yeah. of the same as Seinfeld. These people are friends. They don't really have anything in, in common, Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer, but no one else will be friends with them because they're so such weird assholes and they don't give a shit about anything. I mean, no. I think everyone is, like, in Seinfeld is just, like, this weird, like, crazy asshole. Like, even, like, when you're in Seinfeld, like, even the people, like, they're in the cake shop. They're like, hey, can you hold our place? And then, like, six people will just, like, cut in front of them because they don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, everyone's, it's kind of like everyone's an asshole. You know, it's not like a... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, the the top of this, the, the, the pinnacle of this is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Have you yeah. seen this? It's so um, damn good. Yeah, I've... I've seen a couple episodes, but I don't know. A lot of it's improv, so it's kind of like sometimes yeah. it's unfunny. I'm like, eh, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like improv. I don't mind. I, it reminds me a little of uh, that great show uh, from the UK that he had an even better uh, US remake. Um, Office. The Office. You mean? No, 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 no. That is uh, just improv. Um, I don't know, actually. Which Whose show? line is it anyway? Oh, yeah, that's a good show. Just that's, in general, that's, that's just a good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, like, watching old moments, like, that's just, yeah. Yeah. I would just argue, yeah, that's, they're, that's, they're funny. They're, like, actually yeah. good improv comics. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. all there is to it. Yep. And, uh, but, yeah, the, um, the Curb Your Enthusiasm, it reminds me a lot of, uh, Commedia dell'arte uh, from uh, from Italy, from uh, all these uh, classic uh, characters from um, uh, like the, the the Renaissance, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the because I, I used to be like really into theater, and um, it reminds me a lot of these characters, like all these classic uh, assholes like Arlecchino, and uh, uh, that always it always plots based on on quid pro quos and uh, mm -hmm. people you know misunderstanding each other and being just uh just uh, rubes and and brutish assholes and uh just go going too fast and it's such uh, a revival of that career enthusiasm in my opinion i think it's rare to see that on television or in movies it's uh, it, it's it's precious in my opinion i i i, I wish there were more shows uh like that uh, i really wish but uh yes yeah, so, so. there was one show that was quite promising that was called don't trust the bitch in apartment 13 uh, uh -huh. but but it got really steamrolled by the execs when uh, uh they they bought it and they, and they sanitized the show so much you see in the pilot that is it has a lot of uh you know potential but then uh, as the episodes go go on it's it's getting more and more uh, more and more sanitized and, and the show goes absolutely nowhere mm -hmm. and they even changed the name the the show was supposed to go, be called Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 13 but then they, they rename it, it. yeah that's yeah that was the beginning of the end it's so dumb but uh, yeah not a lot of shows like that uh, recently and uh, there should be more I yeah do you have any predictions about the future of memes or, you know, networks or how things are, is, you know? Uh, I don't know. That's a vague question. I'm not like a, I wouldn't say an expert. I just do stuff that I think is funny in terms, uh -huh. uh, I guess, just in, uh, in terms of just predictions for the future. I, I mean... Because I don't know what the next thing is, because as it is right now, even, like, normal people are getting tired of the shitty meme of the week garbage. Yeah. I, I mean, I would hope. That's what it sort of seems like. I mean, at least yeah. for me, I see it. I'm just like, oh, my God, shut up. I don't care. But I don't know how it is for other people. But hopefully there's going to be something, a move away from that. Because that, that or it's just going to be, like, 
the new funny meme format every week for the rest of our lives. But this time it's instead of like big Bugs Bunny, it's going to be big annoying orange, big Kirby, big graphing yeah, calculator. Yeah, 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 like yeah, haha, sure. graphing calculator looks funny. <laughs> That, so uh, so yeah, banner question. What are your hopes for the future of memes and internet humor in general, not just memes? What are what do you I don't what do I don't you wish would happen? I think it's all downhill from here. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where else it can go. Hopefully, it gets better, but I don't. I'm not optimistic about the future. It's basically just like eh, straight down because I don't. I think people are gonna get sick eventually over time just like people did with rage comics and shit and uh, stuff even like stuff with like the original meme format i don't know how long it's gonna take i would imagine it's be quicker it would be quicker to get rid of just like the current old current format like even like the thing instead of like doing like normal just like instead of putting it over like a penguin and being like when my wife divorces me they like do it the new format for a while was like black t people twitter they would just be like It'd be a picture of some black person looking confused and then like on the top of it on the white box it'd like have something like when your divorce when your ex breaks up with you or just other garbage yeah. but cuz but then th even now that's sort of faded away and it's just kind of there's just nothing right now you know um in terms of predictions yeah, yeah. going forward i don't i think maybe we might see a resurgence of just like impact font garbage like oh please no it, no i don't mean like in the original sense it'll be like the new ironic thing i mean it already oh. is but i think like yeah. it'll it'll like loop back i think it could loop back around and become like the normal thing again to be like yeah yeah, epic yeah, yeah irony yeah. guys i'm so ironic let me shit on your shoes man i'm so ironic <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds uh, it reminds me of one uh, image uh, I saw recently. There is kind of this revival, ironic, you know, uh, look back. Uh, it was a picture of a it was a picture of a clown, and the caption was like, "When you were a clown." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's so good. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It it could. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't have to be like pure predictions on what you think will happen. It would be like kind of memes that you wish were, would come back, stuff that you want to come back, stuff that you maybe want to try to bring back from the past. Or maybe new stuff that you want to, uh, you know, happen. I think, in terms of just, like, memes in general, like, there are memes that are just, like, I don't know. Like, the one I've been thinking about recently is Buenos Dias, Mandy, because that one, that one's a classic. Oh, yeah, it just, yeah. It never yeah. really got, like, beaten to death. It just kind of stopped. You know, yeah. I never really got a big sense of like people getting sick of it. Like Chungus, where like people on like r slash like dank memes going like, "Wow!" When a normie says "big Chungus," when like a week ago they were like, "Guys, look at this funny rabbit." Yeah. Yeah. My, my fucking testicles. Ugh. So, what are your plans for um, Reddit and uh, your? Uh, your meme uh, business, I would I mean, say. Hopefully, yeah. I could do YouTube, but I don't know. It's not really going to get uh -huh. solved until I get the epic depression out of the way, but I don't know. Uh -huh. That's what I would like to do, because it is fun. I did have fun making YouTube videos, so that's. Okay. I guess I've been thinking about doing that, just being like, hey, check out my YouTube channel, I'm just using my Reddit and like my Twitter for that. So... So you're thinking you're thinking about like moving away from Reddit altogether, or uh... yeah, probably. Why not? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. But I don't know. I'll probably start. I mean, I mean, I've had like some video files that are still like unedited and just kind of sitting off to the side. But I don't know. I just I couldn't make anything particularly good as of now. So I don't know. Whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, because what you've been doing on Reddit is mostly curation more than creation now. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah. But now you would want to become a, a purely a creator? Yeah. Or you would, or you would keep Because curating. the thing is, like, when if you're a curator, you're just kind of like, you don't really do anything besides just like, this good, this bad, like... Yeah. I'm, like, and then if people can say whatever they want, they can think whatever they want, like, you don't have any control over, like the quality of it because like if you want to make something good you just make something good people be like yes this is good but like if i'm like a moderator of a subreddit there's just like it's out of my control people are gonna make like images of like 
I don't know, fucking Vietnamese grandfather. I don't fucking know. Like, they'll pick <laughs> you. Like, they just do whatever the hell they want. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker! Classic. Filthy Frank, dank meme, edgy dank meme, dank meme, funny yeah. meme, dank meme. I miss yeah, yeah. those. Legendary face. I remember when dank memes was all just, like, super edgy, just, like, when the school yeah. shooter autistic sucks, like... And they would just, like, uh, word vomit, where they would just, like, make up six million terms just to be, like... Oh, uh, yeah, and it's always with uh, uh, pictures of classic cartoons for some like reason. Jerry like, Jerry Face, yeah. Spo- SpongeBob, or, yeah, Le Jerry. Jerry. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mom yeah, finds yeah, yeah, the yeah. shit suck. Let Jerry Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when, uh... When uh, the uh, when the uh, the Monk, teacher Monk. it starts uh, playing a documentary about the Holocaust and then the oh autistic kid starts shooting people and uh, you oh don't know wh- which one to masturbate to. <laughs> it's just like the joke is, hey guys, I'm edgy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's seventh grade going? Yeah. 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 Hot topic uh, humor. Hot topic is the the. I still prefer this to uh, the. Who's the seventh graders who post uh, fake deep Banksy Gandhi shit? I I, I don't know the the edgy stuff is dumb, but I still I still prefer it to people who try to be deep. Yeah, it's preferable in my opinion. <sighs> you like Crazy Frog? You ever have a guest come in and just sing Crazy Frog? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, to me now. it's it's a it's a classic. I I I skip seeing Crazy Frog memes all the time. Like this year, I've seen several ones. You know? Yeah. And uh, do you, do you remember once. that? Yeah. Do you remember that fanfic uh, that mixed uh, Crazy Fro- that was Crazy Frog versus Alex Jones? That I was, don't remember that, but it was epic. Was epic. I hope Crazy Frog makes a resurgence because Crazy Frog yeah. is just fucking stupid. I'm pretty sure all yeah. the other jamster things are probably gonna make a comeback. So. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Or uh, you know, um, the, all the stuff of that uh, uh, I'm blue da badi, you know, uh, yeah. like he was, you know, Crazy Frog will probably will I, I, I say probably Crazy Frog will maybe be the next um, uh, all star. You know that song from Shrek. Yeah, and uh, maybe so. uh, if if Crazy Frog uh, could be to twenty nineteen, what All Star was to uh, twenty eighteen or no, twenty seventeen? All Star was fucking twenty sixteen when me that fucking me IRL garbage and sh- stuff like the B movie was big. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the B the B movie is so bad, by the way. I saw it recently. I watched it like as a joke, and I was like, this isn't even like ironically funny. Yeah. I- Exactly. It's just, it's just like it's just like this is an okay movie, I guess. It's just not. I, w- I wouldn't be like. It's nothing worthwhile. Yeah, even ironically, at the end. Yeah, you know. I think Jerry Seinfeld seen that. I've been like, I don't know these damn know. youths and their fucking smartphones ruining my grade A comedy. Because he goes everywhere, um, like complaining about like the PC snowflake millennials, like all these other fucking comedians nowadays, like. They don't think yeah, I'm funny. Oh man, these people are all snowflakes. You know. That's it. I mean, I don't think that he personally was impacted by this because his comedy has always been like really clean, and yeah. uh, he he never goes out of line, and he's never tries to be edgy. And uh, you know, I remember. I I did you see the. Um, the uh, documentary, I was going to say. The interview that um, was like, it was uh, Louis C.K., Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld, interviewed by uh, that British guy, um, obnoxious great British guy. Um, um, I don't know who you're talking about. I, I haven't heard of that. I was just more talking, because like, I remember Jerry Seinfeld was blaming like all of his sort of like, oh, people don't find my jokes funny anymore. It's like, what? It's like PC culture. Like, that's the new like... That's the new like uh, boogeyman to like go like this is what's ruining like PC culture like instead of like oh man I'm just unfunny you know it's like oh the uh, damn liberals that's, that's that's not how I remember it but I don't yeah. know Jerry Seinfeld was like on fucking Jimmy Fallon complaining about political correctness it was like oh my god man yeah you're you're like the least like in- politically incorrect man known to got like 
man, like, I don't know how people could be like, or how you could be like, man, I'm like getting oppressed. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in my opinion, that gave him even more legitimacy to talk about the issue uh, because he isn't personally uh, attacked by the PC culture. He yeah. doesn't have any problems personally with it. It's not his comedy. It's just comedians that he likes uh, or, uh, you know, youngsters, uh, new comedians that are trying to start their career. He isn't going to be impacted by the yeah. PC thing at all. And he never was. And uh, he, he said that he ref he doesn't even swear on stage, he, you know? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it was never about him. It was just about the state of comedy in general. And that made it more valid, in my opinion. He wasn't complaining about things that was happening to him but to comedy in general, he was never, uh, he was never, you know, hit by the PC uh, thing, you know, because he's, he's so, he's so clean already, and he's so, I, I was yeah. going to say blonde. He's not really blonde, but you know, he's, um, there's nothing edgy about what he, what he's, what he does and what he yeah. says. So he's never going to be hit. But some of these friends and and people that he that he works with and that he likes, like Louis C.K., like. That short black guy forgot his name. Kevin Hart. Uh, yeah, and other ones. I mean, to be uh, fair, Kevin Hart did just like go on rants hating on gay people. Like, uh, I don't know if that's much PC culture of just him being a big. I don't know. Because like, I mean, I uh, people will just like blame anything on PC culture nowadays. It will just be like, oh, like someone like there was consequences to my actions. Like people didn't like when I said like the N word and called like oh PC culture. Oh my god. There are certainly bad things that have happened. Like I think the one with uh, James Gunn, I thought was like that was ridiculous. The same. That's just because uh -huh. Disney's just a greedy bastard. And they're like so afraid yeah. of just like be looking bad ever. So, but then like yeah, yeah. there's other times where it's just like someone just being super edgy and like oh like fucking people like Sam Hyde and just like they're just like going way too far and they're like I mean there's a, like there is a line between just like oh I'm being edgy and and goofy and then just being like just saying offensive stuff because haha it's offensive like then then like when people don't like that like oh pc culture pc culture like no it's just people don't like it your joke is just like hey guys i said something offensive like i don't get it yeah 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 but you know the thing uh like we uh, we could take kevin hart as an example is that um it was not in his shows that he said this edgy shit. It was on Twitter, and it was like ten years ago. So it's not. It's weird that his comedy career would be impacted by something he did out I mean, of it. That's just like, like public relations. That's almost his. That's literally that's almost everyone. His, yeah, I mean that's almost his personal life. You know <laughs> that that people would talk shit about him and and you know blame him for being homophobic or whatever. Sure, but his career shouldn't really suffer from it on a executive standpoint. Uh, people could, like, decide to boycott him. That's fine. People should, like, write shit about him. That's fine. But that he would lose contracts and shit like that, that's a little too far, in my opinion. Uh, uh, I don't know. Because at the top of the thing, it's like, the whole thing with all this dumb, like, having to care about, like, your image, it's like a corporate thing because you can't sell tickets and you can't sell stuff if you, like, your brand is just like, hey, I'm a homophobe. Like, that's sure. like, like, it, it, I hate that aspect, but at the same time, that's just basically what it is. I don't think, like, these, like, whenever these people cause these, like, fake moral panics, like, they're actually, like, mad. It's just more of just a matter of just, like, fucking corporate executives are too afraid to just, like have anything bad or like do anything like that and because you know it'll be damaging for reputation and all this other stuff it's not a matter of just like some sjw and tumblers like gets in a big re and it's like wow all this other garbage so, yeah yeah i, I just I, I hate going into stuff like this i hate politics <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. um to finish i just in my opinion it's kind of a double standard thing because he said dumb shit. I didn't read his homophobic tweets. I, I I just vaguely heard about it. I just used him as a, an mm -hmm. example of a general trend. But, you know, uh, people who say dumb shit are getting a lot of flack. Like this, this poor dude who made a, a rocket uh, fly on a comet and then he was has ass blasted on Twitter because he, he had a, a shirt with a scantily clad uh, woman on it. 
And, yeah, uh, okay, because a lot of that time... That, like, that, that's really too far, and, and that is, just, just... Yeah, because that's the thing that always pisses me off, because people will assume, like, oh, one person got mad, or, like, two people got mad, or, like, a group of dumb retards got mad. They're like, wow, PC culture. That's not. That's not even close. That's just, like, a small subset of minority. Like That, that is thing, true. The thing with Absolutely. The, the thing with the guy in the shirt, just because, like, that was just, like, some dumb, like, Facebook mom group getting into an uproar, like... Like, I... yeah. I don't know why, like, people are like, this is PC culture. Like, they're just, then they'll go to, they'll get a screenshot from Tumblr being like, oh, wow, this is what, like, liberals actually believe. Snap. Mm. Oh, man, this is, like, what this person, oh, my God, these people are so cringe when, like, it's just, like, a, it's, like, a snapshot of a headline or, like, the one that I saw was, like, streamer gets banned for, like, saying there's only two genders. Like, that's not why she got banned. She'd been banned, like, multiple times before and then, like... In her stream, that was, like, one of the things she said, but she said other things at the same time. But the headline was, Twitch streamer banned for saying there's two genders. And I was like, oh, my God, these damn liberals. Like, no. Like, I I would say I'm, like, centrist type stuff. But at the same time, like, people just, like, over, like, can go after the smallest thing. They only want to see the headlines, you know. That is absolutely true. And the right does it with the left. And the left does it with the right. Yep. And, you know, Every they day. take those vo- They take those... Uh, vocal min- minorities that are usually extremists with outrageous outlandish opinions and they put them in the limelight because it works for audience it yep. generates clicks it generates you know interactions um how, uh, not interactions um engagement you know uh, in yeah. the social uh, media uh, term and because of that it makes the right wing people more radicalized because they see the left as as more of a threat, and it yeah. makes the left wing people more radicalized because they see the right wing more as a threat. The the you know for for the average right wing person that is not accustomed to these uh, to these manipulation uh, techniques, uh, they see uh, every left winger as this kind of crazy communist uh, assassin that's gonna you know. Uh, you know, uh, kill every ho- uh, landlord and, and shit. And uh, the average left-wing person sees the uh, average uh, right-winger as this, this Nazi who wants to kill uh, all the, the black people and the yep. Jews and all that. And that's, that's so bad because more and more with social media, people choose to follow people that they agree with and it, uh, it festers those echo chambers. And yeah. it's bad on both sides, and the, the yeah, and it you know it's kind of a self fulfilling prophecy because by posting these uh, exaggerated, uh, nitpicked examples of the left or of the right, yeah. you radicalize more people and you push them towards the extremes. It's uh, it's a downward spiral, and it's uh, I I hope there's a way to. I don't know, get out of it in some way or another, but uh, right now it's pretty bad, uh, politic- the political climate. But yeah, what I wanted to say uh, at first is like, I find it a little difficult to swallow that people like Kevin Hart get so much flack for dumb shit that they've said on Twitter, and at the same time, people like Gwyneth Paltrow, who what? sells this insane shit and converts people to this alternative medicine like the yeah. coffee enema the coffee enemas and the goop and the soy sauce clans people have died people have died because of her bullshit because uh, yeah. refusing to uh to have cancer treatment and instead doing a juice cleanse and nobody gives a shit I mean, so, some people make memes and jokes out of her, but her career hasn't been hurt at all. Mm-hmm. She's still invited on all the, the, the TV shows and shit. So, you know, these kind of double standards, that was that that is what irks me. If everyone yeah. got shit, then fine. Or if nobody got shit, then fine. But, you know, it's it's weird that, uh, that you would uh, get, you know... That, like, I'm not going to defend Kevin Hart... For a very good reason, because I, I haven't read his tweets. I, yeah. I don't know what he said, so I'm not going to defend him. But uh, people like uh, Count Dankula, for example, uh, who made this Nazi pug video and who got uh, on trial and shit, 
that is insane and at the same time uh, people who sell absolute bullshit um like yeah like Gwyneth Paltrow is a big example nowadays they get almost nothing uh in return for their uh mm-hmm. their stuff and yeah 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 pe- people have died because of coffee animas and shit and nobody seems to give a shit that's the kind of double standards that really pisses me off i mean it doesn't really pisses me off it's more like a kind of general global dismay um I don't know whose fault it is. Is it the media? Is it the people? Is it the social net? Is it the the, the big tech social networks? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But it's weird that these vocal minorities have so much influence. I think it's because of the media mostly. Because when you uh, publicize these people, you automatically generate clicks. It makes mm-hmm. easy he- it makes easy headlines. That's why reality TV is like a thing because people don't want to see like yeah. some normal person. They want to see some crazy like person, yeah. like some freak, you know. They yeah, don't of see, course. Like, a, they don't they don't want to turn on the TV and just see like, hey, it's me, Paul. Hey, I'm uh, doing my taxes. They want to see like <laughs> some guy like going crazy and being like such a wild guy and like going all over the place, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But reality TV is harmless, uh, in my opinion. You know, <laughs> it's like I don't. Okay, I don't know about that, Chief. Okay, are, are, do you think it's harmful? It's anything but helpful. It's what I would oh, argue. Oh, sure, sure. I don't. Of course, there are some shows that are fine, but then there's other ones where it's just absolute hot garbage, and I don't, I, I don't see how it could be anything but detrimental. Like I don't know, it's not my t- cup of tea. But the same, I'm just like I. Don't want to. I, okay, I don't want to get into this. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, it's fine. But yeah, yeah, there are a lot of movements like that uh, recently, and uh, I think I don't know. It's I like to separate the harmful from the harmless ones. But what is really harmless? Really, I don't it's like the flat Earth movement. Yeah. I don't. I don't see really them hurting anybody. It's it dumb. But it's not like the anti-vaxxers, you know. The anti-vaxxers, those are harm- really, really harmful. But the flat earthers, who are they hurting? So I don't have the same, um, I don't see them the, the same, even if they're the same stupidity. But the flat earthers, to my knowledge, aren't hurting anybody. Whereas the, the anti-vaxxers are, you know, very dangerous. And um, Mm -hmm. I think it's, in my opinion, it's important to separate them on the the potential danger that they represent. But maybe it's just me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it is. You disagree? No, not really. I I, I sort of agree, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Well, do you have anything you want to plug like a uh, new subreddit that you created or uh, uh i guess page, i would just your youtube channel yeah just my youtube channel okay. my subreddit i'll probably make something on my youtube eventually i'm stop being gay depressed but uh in terms of subreddit yeah i'll still be there i guess so r slash funny frog and then on youtube i'm just for busier that's it okay you're uh, you're still active on the uh, bone hurting juice or uh... uh I've been active for like two years there, by God. Okay. Okay, well that's gonna be it, I guess. Yeah.